Happy Friday the 13th, and welcome to the Horror Next Door. Keeping the tradition of posting a Friday the 13th related video on each and every Friday the 13th brings us to today's video of Friday the 13th Fangoria Magazines. If you missed my previous Fangoria video where I received a free box of Fangoria magazines and showed off all my favorite covers, a link for it is in the description below. Go check it out. If you love Friday the 13th as much as we do, and if you just love horror in general, would you kindly subscribe? Now, on with the video. So if you had already watched the previous Fangoria video, you would know that I already have a few of the Friday the 13th Fangoria covers. This one is Freddy vs. Jason. Badass looking cover with both of them on there. Who will win? Who will die? Then I got the 2009 remake Friday the 13th cover. Badass Derek Mears on the cover there. Jason's new sleighs. Love it. And then, of course, Jason X. Got Uber Jason on the cover there. Slaughter in space. So, over the last couple of months, I've gone on eBay and just hunted and hunted for all the rest of the Friday the 13th Fangoria covers. And luckily, I found them all. So, I'm going to show them off to you now. The first one ever is from Friday the 13th Part 2. You got Pamela Voorhees' severed head there in the fridge, and it says, Whatever you do, don't open the fridge. Uh, got some other cool stuff on there, but old, old, old issue here. Love it. Then we got... Friday the 13th, part four, the final chapter, bloody, bloody kill right there on the cover. Love it. Love that they had the guts to put this on there. Scream greats, pull out poster, Savini's back. Jason's dead? Yeah, Jason's dead, all right. Love that cover. Then we got Friday the 13th, part five, a new beginning. You got Imposter Jason right there on the cover. Roy Burns, Jason, the behind the mask story. Awesome, awesome cover. Love the way it looks. Got his blue chevron mask on there, badass. Then the next two covers are also from Friday the 13th, Part 5, A New Beginning. Not sure why Part 5 got so much love. This one has a, a poster, apparently. Maybe it's this guy's face. I haven't opened it yet to check it out. Got Freddy over here, just chilling. Awesome cover. Then the other Friday the 13th, Part 5 is this just a bloody... Double bladed axe on the cover there. Got Elvira up here. Some crazy looking dude. Awesome. Gut wrenching effects. Awesome cover. So then we skip to Friday the 13th, part seven The New Blood. Got Kane Hodder on there. Unmasked Jason. And it says, New Scoop, Friday the 13th, Part 8 at the top. So I guess 7 had just been released, and they're already talking about 8. Man, what a fun time to be alive. Haven't seen a Friday the 13th sequel in over a decade. It's ridiculous. So then we got Jason Goes to Hell. This is the last one that I needed. Jason Goes to Hell, the Friday you've been waiting for. Biggest coverage ever. Love it. What does it say up here? Jason Contest. Win a free terror trip. Wish I want a free terror trip. That'd be badass. But that's all of them. That's every Friday the 13th related Fangoria cover. And I have them all. 
I'm going to put the three that I already previously owned in these slips. The rest all came in slips when I ordered them on eBay. So that was gracious of them. But I think I'm going to hang them on the wall above all my hockey masks. I think it'd be really cool to see them all up there displayed. And then you got all the hockey masks underneath. I think that'd be really cool. Whenever I finally get around to doing it, I will probably make a video about it and show it off. Show you guys what it looks like. So I was going to end the video right there, but then I said, you know what, let's take a look inside the pages. A little advertisement here for his name is Jason. Big article here for the new Friday the 13th remake. A lot of cool pictures. Got Derek Mears there being a badass. Then they talk about some of the actors from Friday the 13th and the director cool stuff then we got another article here about the other supernatural guy Jensen Eccles and in the Freddy vs. Jason issue got a little Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake stuff there and there's a little blurb about hunting humans great movie you should check it out obviously the Freddy vs. Jason article Little article there about Kane Hodder. He didn't get the role, obviously, of Jason in the movie. And the back of this one has a little thing there for Dead and Buried, which is also a great movie. You should check that out. Now we're on to the Jason X issue. Got a nice picture there of Jason. Uber Jason down there in the corner. Got the director up top there. The iconic Frozen kill. Just some awesome, awesome stuff. Awesome imagery there. Then we got another article here called Crystal Lake Memories, all about the original Friday the 13th and just all its glory. A lot of cool pictures here too. Then in the Jason Goes to Hell issue, got a little ad here for Jason Goes to Hell, the final Friday by Tops. Got some cool looking masks here. Nice little picture there of Michael Myers from Halloween 4. Then we got the big Jason Goes to Hell article. Jason Goes to Hell at last. Nice pictures there. Also, the terror trip was a all-expense trip to a Florida resort where there's a haunted house. I guess it's a popular haunted house at the time. Not sure if it's still around. But the runners-up also got a Jason Goes to Hell poster autographed by Kane Hodder. And third runners-up got a Jason Goes to Hell t-shirt. I would love to have that t-shirt or even that poster. That'd be great. There's a sweet pinhead like bust in the back. It looks awesome. On to Friday the 13th Part 7 cover. Got a nice little pull-out poster here from Phantasm 2. Freaking gnarly. And then, then we got an article here about the women of Crystal Lake. Nice little retrospective here of all the scream queens from past Friday the 13th. Then there's an article here giving away stuff about part eight. Friday the 13th producer Frank Mancuso Jr. leaks the first word on part eight. Nice pictures here of Kane Hodder behind the scenes. Cool stuff. Cool, cool stuff. Then we got Jason's song. Harry Manfredini talking about the music. Then this is a little article here from the Friday the 13th TV show, which I've never watched. Freddy there. Gotta love it. Then in this issue... With Roy Burns on the cover, there's a sweet picture of the Lost Boys inside, or a sweet poster, I would say. The Six Faces of Jason. Another article here, just going through all the actors, I guess, that have played Jason in the past, and just what he looks like and everything. There was also like this little cartoon here with a guy with a hockey mask and Freddy and everything. It looks it was kind of neat, so I thought I'd leave that in there. And then in this issue, the cover 
was Stephen King from Creepshow and all his plant-covered grossness. And then there was a nice little article here about Heather Lankenkamp, Nightmare Scream Queen. Pretty cool stuff. And then there was an article about Elvira, some random pictures and full page photo here. And then we go into Friday the 13th, a new beginning with a bloody freaking photo there. I love it. And I hope you've seen the movie because they give away all the body count right there, right there in the uh, issue. I feel like they wouldn't have done that, but I guess they did back in the day. This issue was a little torn, but you know what? I don't really care. It's a pull-out poster here of Roy Burns in all his glory. Imposter Jason looks badass. So even if it fell off, maybe I would just hang that thing up. But I don't know. It's going to be in a slip cover, so it's fine. Nice little article there about John Saxon. And then we go into Friday the 13th, A New Beginning. Showing some more bloody photos. Some of the kills, I guess you can say, kind of given things away, but I guess it doesn't matter because they give away the body count. Another nice little article there of Robert England. And then in this issue, the pullout poster was from the movie The Brood, which I've never seen. And in the back, she's like holding a a fetus or something. That is kind of wild. Maybe I need to check that one out. Savini and Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Got some cool effects here. And also they give away the body count for the final chapter as well. So I hope you've seen that one. And then the back of this issue has a picture of the Ghostbusters. Thought I'd leave that one in. Then we got Friday the 13th Part 2. No poster on this one. Nice article here with the machete in the guy's face. Some dead bodies. Head in the refrigerator. Well, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy Friday the 13th. If you are not subscribed, would you kindly subscribe? Until next time.